The SEALs have an almost mythical reputation, one that has been a powerful recruitment tool. Just listen to this promotional video from 2013. Their actions are typically swift and decisive, striking with surprise, speed, and appropriate use of force. But that reputation has been tested by, among other things, the Gallagher case. The Navy SEAL was accused initially of murdering an unarmed detainee in Iraq. But there have been other cases. Bob Muth is a professor at the University of San Diego Law School and a former judge advocate general in the Marines. There's been a number of these types of incidents that have been popping up in so many different SEAL teams all over the world that certainly there's something amiss uh, between the situation with Eddie Gallagher, the situation in Mali where you had SEALs implicated in the death of a, a Army Special Forces operator, uh, the widespread allegations of drug use in different SEAL teams. The head of Naval Special Warfare Rear Admiral Colin Green has been trying to get a handle on these problems. After the Gallagher trial ended in July, Green issued letters to his commanders ordering them to take a look at cultural problems within the elite SEALs. I think the way you, you resolve that is getting back to basics and ensuring a strong ethical foundation. And I think the concern is, by the president's recent actions, perhaps he's suggesting that he doesn't think that that's the right course. There has been a back and forth with the White House. Last week, the president restored Gallagher to chief petty officer. This week, Green authorized a Trident review board to remove Gallagher and three others connected with the case from special operations. Trump tweeted Thursday that Gallagher will not be removed from the SEALs. The Navy has said they are waiting for written guidance. Admiral Green has taken other disciplinary actions since the Gallagher trial. The admiral recalled a platoon of SEAL Team 7 from Iraq over allegations that included drinking and unprofessional conduct. He removed SEAL Team 7's top three leaders. Former SEAL and author Dick Couch was one of several people to meet with Green over the summer to look at SEAL culture. I think there's a lack of leadership and the insistence on right moral conduct. That's the key thing, and that has to be changed and turned around, and those falling short have to be separated. Excommunication is a wonderful thing. At the moment, SEALs are waiting to see who wins that back and forth between their command and the White House. The victor is likely to set the tone for special forces going forward. Steve Walsh, KPBS News.